Hey everyone, it is Tate and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are having a wonderful day today. I am having a wonderful day so far. It is a Friday, I'm off of work. I'm wearing my favorite polka dot dress with a little jean jacket. It's a little bit cool outside. Just a great day. Got some photos this morning, as you can see from my tripod. Um, so I am getting ready to go thrifting and I'm going to try, I'm thinking two different thrift stores today that I haven't gone to in a while. As you guys know, if you've watched my last thrift with me, I've really been struggling to find things while thrifting recently. Um, I don't know if it's just because I've become a lot more picky or things are just a little bit more picked over, but I thought I would maybe try a couple new ones and maybe I can find some good finds there. Um, but I'm getting ready to leave now. I'm gonna go right when they open. They open at 10, it's about 9.30. A little bit of a drive to get there so i thought i would take you guys along with me for a little thrift with me hopefully we find some pieces um and hopefully it's not too busy i feel like the past few times i have gone to goodwill especially it's been really really busy and it's been kind of hard for me to film in the thrift store i get a little bit nervous when i film around people not that i think anyone even knows what you're doing when you are filming but i'm just really self-conscious of it um but I'm going to get myself some water, pack up my purse back there, and then head to Goodwill.
and I purchased quite a few pieces. Now I will have to say I did try these on beforehand and I ended up figuring out that a couple of them did not fit. So the two pairs of jeans that I showed you kind of in the mirror and also the sweater dress were three of the pieces that I bought. The two jeans were actually, one was low rise, it did fit me, but they were low rise, so I'm not gonna keep those. The other pair definitely did not fit. And then the sweater dress I really liked and I was actually super excited about. I was going to take it and actually thrift flip it into a sweater set that I saw from Gal Meets Glam. I'll put a photo over here. I thought I could maybe cut it and then hem it and make it into like a two-piece set. But once I tried it on, I figured out that the bottoms really did not fit me. I was expecting it to be a little bit more flowy and it just didn't fit quite perfectly. It was a little bit more tight, which is not my style at all. So I ended up not keeping that, but then I did end up purchasing a couple other pieces and those all did fit and I really love them. So those are the ones that I'm going to be showing you today. And I also bought a couple of miscellaneous things as well. So that being said, let's hop right into the pieces. So the first thing that I got was this little chambray type shirt. I really liked the neckline. It doesn't like to stay on the hanger very much, but I liked the color and the little tie sleeves. I thought this would be really cute tucked into white pants. I am going to have to figure out the fit a little bit because it does fit a little bit strange. I think it's supposed to be worn off the shoulder, which isn't my total style, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to style this, but I've really been wanting to incorporate more light blue pieces into my wardrobe, so I was really happy to find this. It was also 100% cotton. It is from Loft, and I got this for $3.88. The next piece that I got was this white cotton lace shirt, and I thought this was just so beautiful. I've seen similar ones like this on Cezanne, which You'll kind of notice a little bit of a theme going here. I've really been liking their long sleeve shirts recently. Um, so I thought this was just too pretty to pass up, but I just thought it was really pretty and kind of a fun take on a long sleeve shirt. And I thought this would just look really cute tucked into jeans with a brown leather belt and brown ballet flats. And I just really loved it. I feel like it's a good piece to wear in the spring and also into fall as well to kind of have a lighter piece for the fall. So this is from the brand Express and I got this for $3.88. So the last piece that I got was this green cotton shirt and I love this. If you know me at all, this color of green is like my spirit color. Um, it's just so beautiful. I really like the lace detailing in the front. It reminds me very much of a sweater that I've seen on Cezanne. I'll put a photo over so you guys can see over here. And I really like doing that, looking for pieces at the thrift store similar to pieces that you find online. Just kind of a fun little hunt. But I thought this would be really cute. Again, tucked into jeans with that brown leather belt. I really like that look. Maybe some brown ballet flats. I just thought it was a really great piece for the fall and the winter. I like wearing this color in the cooler months. So I'm really happy to add this to my wardrobe. And this is also from Ann Taylor Loft again. And I got this for $3.88 as well. So that's it for the clothing items. Now on to the kind of miscellaneous items. And I have an accessory, a record, and also a tea related thing. So I will start off with the tea related thing first. And it is this adorable teapot. I loved the floral print on this and I love this. It kind of reminds me of like a pineapple, but I thought it was super cute. I'm trying to slowly collect teapots to have a tea party. And I just really like the size of him. Of course, the little sticker here says that it is a five cup teapot and there is no way like this cannot be five cups. Those cups must be really tiny. Um, but I just thought this was really pretty and very classic teapot looking. I also really liked the size of it. It's not too big, not too small. And I just thought it was super adorable. So yeah, just happy to add another one to my collection. And I got this for $2.88. The next thing that I got was a bit of a poke and hope for me, but it is a record. And this is this one by Andy Williams, who I really like, but it is songs from the movies. And so I had never heard of some of these songs before, but I was familiar with other ones. So I figured I might as well give it a go. It was only $1.88, so couldn't really pass that up and thought I would give it a try. I haven't had a new record, honestly, in quite a while. And they had a ton of them there. Like there were stacks and stacks of them. And there were a couple I was thinking about, but I decided to give this one a try. So I'm excited to listen to it and see how it sounds. So yeah. 
The last thing that I got is an accessory and I was so happy when I found this. It is this gorgeous basket bag. So it looks very similar to the one I was using today, but it's quite bigger and it's also made a lot nicer. I really love the color as well. It has a zipper on the inside, which is nicer than the one that I have because right now it just has like little drawstrings. It also has a zipper pocket and it's super clean inside. It looks brand new, but I just... I thought it was so adorable. I currently own three basket bags. I have one that is a crossbody, which I like, but I don't love the color of it. It's a little bit more yellow. And then the one that I was using today is a very like almost white. And I just really like this. It looked really vintage to me and just absolutely gorgeous. I actually don't know how much I paid for this. I think it was like $1.88 and it was just too cute to pass up. There also is not a brand, so I'm not entirely sure where it's from, but I really love this and I'm excited to add it to my bag collection. So that is it for my little thrift with me thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these pieces that I ended up finding. I really love every single one of them. When I first purchased them, I was a little bit nervous um, because I couldn't try them on. And like I said earlier, there were a couple of pieces that I bought that didn't end up fitting, but I am really happy with the fit of these. The quality of them is really nice. And I would love to know what is your favorite thing out of everything that I purchased. My favorite thing I'd have to say is probably this basket bag. I was super happy to find it. It's just a beautiful quality and very vintagey. Um, and something that I was surprised by out of all of the pieces was actually the white lace top. I really, really loved it. I wasn't really sure what I was going to think of it, but it just was very, I don't know, feminine and different and I really loved it. So that being said, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you would give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you enjoy thrifting and lifestyle content, I would love it if you would hit subscribe down below. And if you would also like to follow me over on Instagram, I have my Instagram handle in the description box below. It's at Tate underscore and underscore thrifting, just like my YouTube name. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.